Here's Grandma. Okay, bub. And here we are. Regan, the birthday boy. Dad. Oh, yeah. We have Ed Lice. Happy birthday. All right, I got some of these for that one, too. Aw, thank you. And that was my son Regan's birthday in 2019. I um, have fallen behind a little bit of footage on this channel and I'm going to attempt to get caught up. So let's blast through 2019. So I have some really big things planned for this channel and I want you to start getting excited. Um, there will be an announcement soon. But first, let's get caught up. date night and I took him to see my friend Pat play. Pat uh, was a musician, a band that I used to watch called Madison Drive, a local Seattle band. He has become a full-time professional musician and this is the kind of gigs that he plays. Oh, but here he is 10 years earlier doing a cover. <laughs> Jerry, it's your birthday. Yeah. So you said it's my birthday. Celebrate. Say it. What did you say? Celebrate me. <laughs> uh -huh. To quote my daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, there they are. Hi guys. Why hello there. Why hello. It's been a long. It's been a while. It's been. It's been a minute. It's been a while. It's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute. There's <laughs> been some sappy card. Is it sappy? It is. You want to read it? No. Yes. I read it out loud? I yes. It. Please. No, I don't Keep want Keep it to it. yourself. Please. Keep it to yourself. Not in yeah. front of the K.I.D.A. <laughs> For the man I love. Sometimes. Man, I love that. For the man I love right now. <laughs> just, just for today. For this moment. I love you, honey. My handwriting was really messy because my life is a mess. My life is a wreck. It is right now. It is. All right. No particular order. Yeah, but can you flip over the first gift? No, it goes that way only. <laughs> what is it? More power. What is it? It's a carburetor jetting kit. It's a yeah. Pill. <laughs> That's what I meant. I, ooh, look, I got you a carburetor jetting kit. That's awesome. It's Good. <laughs> yeah. it, was my, it was on my motorcycle. Diamond shaped blue pill. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm surprised. What is it? Do? Good. So More am I. Power. It, it modifies carburetors so that it's more efficient. Okay. Right? More power. Right. It's a better design than the stock design for metering fuel. This is a um, 
this is the best on the market for my bike. Best of the best. It is. Okay, flip it over. No, you don't need to flip it over. Just rip right over. into it there. No, flip, no. Just flip it over. You don't need Dad. to flip it over. Flip it over. Oh, Please. don't. Yes. <laughs> is that an awesome wrapping job? Because you were born Just flip it year. over. There we go. We're all good. Someone ran out of paper. <laughs> and thought I had enough. I did not. Just got side with just scotch tape on it. I have that same knife. <laughs> I love it. What's that? I have that same knife you got me. I love it. I thought I liked it. Anytime I need anything open, yeah. I'm like. The only thing I don't like about it is you have to use a screwdriver to change. Plugs. Yeah, I didn't like that. But as far as compact. Mm -hmm. But you can just have like taking on dates with me just in case. You know what it is? Yes. You know what it is. Look at awesome. his face. He's happy. He's faking it. He's faking no, it. No, it just took you a second, like, oh what is it? Oh. 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 You know what it is. Oh. It's a waterproof backpack. That's what I told you. Waterproof backpack. So it's like a um, it came with a phone case too, a waterproof phone yeah. case. See? I have well, I have a water. I have the waterproof. That's actually really nice. I have the waterproof blue bag mm -hmm. at thirty liters. Oh yeah, you use that. All the I think it's a thirty-five liter backpack, so it's got actual straps on it and stuff. So mm -hmm. I thought, you know, I could the use that bike? for the motorcycle and backpacking. Mm -hmm. and is it pretty lightweight? Uh, no, it's not. This is not what you consider ultra. It's it's fairly. Light. Hand me down this to me when you're dead. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not stupid heavy, but no. it's not what you call try, but it's it's okay, totally waterproof. Mm. It's Dad a, and it's I a are going to just give her the backpack. She'll be happy. What's that? When did, camping gear, all the camping gear. When Dad and I are gone, just give her the backpack, and then she'll go away. Thank you. You're welcome. But wait. There's, There's one more little thing. There's more. Ah, my camp shoes. And then like slippers? Uh, yeah, kind of. They're, they're uh, like glorified water shoes. Mm. That's really what they are. They're slippers. They're, they're outdoor slippers. A ring. I know, it came with a ring, a butterfly, a butterfly ring, ring, honey. You got the ring. Oh, I can't wait for it. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear daughter. Happy birthday to you. From this side, it just looks like I'm, I'm dyslexic, but I'm 35. Yeah, mm -hmm. wishful thinking. Oh, he's not going to breathe on the cake. Still a man. Still a man. <laughs> Barely. I have to tell you what happened at work today, honey. How are you? I'm fine. Good. So, you know how when a person's at work and they say, oh, you know, I didn't get to do any of the tasks I wanted to do. I've been fighting fires all day. Yeah. I sit at my desk and I look up and the ashtray in front of building two is on fire. Like totally smoking, billowing smoke everywhere. My coworker just sits there and looks out the window. I'm like, so I get up, I log my computer, I run to the kitchen, I grab a, a crap of water off the coffee machine, fill it with water, run outside, run across campus, and douse the fire and put the fire out. I still smell like cigarettes. Because all the cigarette butts were on fire inside there. Disgusting smell. Not a good smell, no. It probably wasn't a good look either. It used to happen all the time at work. They catch fire like that? Yeah, the butt cans, they'd catch on fire all the time. It'd be like a... Uh, smoldering thing pot uh so anyway it's a horrible smell horrible smell yeah, yeah. And smudge I don't, pot smudge pot yeah smudge pot just freaking heavy smoke coming out of it so the smudge pot didn't have much smell those cigarette butts are just i mean it's cigarettes times 10. yeah disgusting it was gross so i got it put out and then i went to do some other errands and i called my co-worker and i was like so i need you to put in a work order to have the two ashtrays, because there's one in front of my office, have them both emptied, and I said, and tell them that it's gonna be really wet in the one, because I just dumped an entire coffee pot of water in it, because it was on fire. <laughs> and so, so she does it, I take care of stuff, I come back to the office, and she's like, 
you should have had you should have had somebody in IT do it because they're the ones who use the ashtray. I was like, it's a fire. It's a fire. You don't just make a bunch of phone calls like, hey, who's got time to go put out a fire? Like, no, you put the fire out. Oh, my work, nobody did anything. They just let them smolder like that? It's on a, con it's on a concrete pad. Mine's not. Next to a metal building. Oh. What, and Our, they, they were like 20 feet away from the building. So they just sit there and smolder all night long. Ours is on rocks, but then there's grass everywhere. So you just catch the grass on fire too. And it's, this is where I work. Like we had 28 guests and I'm going to have them with the smoldering ashtray thing. No, there's the building's almost on fire. The yard, whatever you want to call it, is on fire on the campus. I'm grabbing water and I'm dousing the fire. But like, really, I was putting out fires all day. No. Did yesterday? Not all day. Pardon me. Just for a second. Well, no, I was putting out fires, but then I was really putting out <laughs> fires. And then yesterday, a toilet exploded. What exploded? Toilet. Oh. I was sitting, I was setting stuff up, tables and chairs and stuff, and I heard this crash. It sounded like somebody would take the, the porcelain lid off the toilet and dropped it on the ground and broke it. And I'm thinking, it's not my problem. I'm staying out of it. Here's one of our new hires comes running out. And she's like, the toilet broke, the toilet broke. That's horrible. So, a co-worker says, oh, okay, I'll put in a work order about it and make an out of order sign. And I go, okay. And he goes, and I'll have her go put the out of order sign on, the female. I'm like, so I go over and I open the bathroom stall and the tank, like, how do I demonstrate? Oh, I had my purse, I was demonstrating with my purse. But you know, you have the tank on the back of the toilet. Yeah. The whole- It's like a residential toilet. The whole corner on the back just broke off and fell on the ground. The toilet's like less than a year old. Why did a whole piece of the porcelain back of it fall off? She hit it or something, maybe. How hard? Yeah. With what? Kevin, my buddy Kevin <laughs> sat on the toilet that mounted the, the All your buddies commercial ones. Yeah. That sit on the, that mounted on the wall. Yeah. And it broke off the wall at work. Is he that big? Not small. Not that big. Not ginormous. But. I mean, she wasn't tiny, but she wasn't humongous either. Yeah. The well, toilet just broke apart. At my work, I work in the world's largest building. Mm -hmm. When a toilet overflows or breaks, everybody else thinks somebody else is going to call. <sighs> so, I mean, you'll have an entire bathroom flooded. And People nobody's calling walking anything. in, walking out, nobody calls. Right? I mean, Oh my gosh, no. I'm taking some ownership at my work. I take some ownership. Things are on fire, I put the fire out. Nobody else, everybody's sitting around. And then I watch one of the regular smokers head out there. And that doesn't know, I just put the fire out. to hear. So I'm just sitting here thinking about how I miss daily vlogging. You know, I don't miss daily editing, but I miss daily vlogging. There is something about recording your day and your feelings and what's going on.
Mayonnaise. Apparently, Evidently. Evidently cats like mayonnaise. Well, See? No chicken though. left in my sandwich. Kitty cat had it. <coughs> now kitty cat is having Jerry's mayonnaise. Here. Here you go. Let's make this easy. Come here, kitty. <laughs> Trying to make it so he doesn't have to climb on the table. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Come here. Snookums. <laughs> can't get his can't get her attention. There you go. Come here, sweetie. There you go. <laughs> Do it for the vlog. <laughs> Are you done? Yes. Just she eat bread? Uh, uh, cats don't eat bread. They pick the part that tastes like meat off of it. That one's licking mayonnaise. Well, mayonnaise, that's dairy. Cats eat dairy. Do you want more? Are you done? <laughs> She's like, no, I'll still go. <coughs> And she's sweet. She let me pet her and everything. <coughs> Here's the tongue. I can turn it. It's it a lot of mayonnaise. Maybe you should slow down. Make yourself sick. There you go. I don't want you to get sick from the mayonnaise. Right, sweetie? You look just like Rika. Charles and Allie's cat that they found in the storm. Cat has a lot of anxiety. And there you go, sweetie. Hi, this is Di, and Jerry and I are, oh my gosh, my lens is so dirty. We're heading up to Leavenworth for our anniversary, and we stopped here to eat and ended up feeding, well, I fed the cat, and then Jerry ended up feeding the cat. Yes, it is. Counter no, she in the way. The counter's counter fine. It's the cabinet in the way. Oh, hot wax. No, it's not. Hot wax. Both in the way. Now I get why he'll he'll always like get upset at me if I go too tangential or if I talk or I talk over people or something. I understand why the final <laughs> solution. We're talking about the tangents tonight. There've been multiple tangents. But it's been this way for the past month. I've noticed. It's a I thing. I noticed it for the past month that what everyone I know. Did it start? <laughs> Gloria. And we've made some headway. We're getting closer to being back to the future. I don't know what to say. Well, if you have fun watching old vlog footage, I've got more here. And here's a video that YouTube picked out just for you.